hello everyone welcome to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so today i'm going to show you how to attach a sword like this uh, into the back of the character and how to make it equip and put back like this so this is the first step of our melee combat system and this is the part i'm going to cover today all right so let's get started so i have imported uh, this blade model blade or sword model from infinity blade weapons and i'm going to use this as the weapon of our character so i'll open my human character this one and uh, then first I'll drag and drop that blade object into my human character like this and yeah we have it like this all right i'll rotate it like this and so i'm going to make this blade hang in in the back of this character because uh, i later i'm going to I'm gonna give this character a couple more swords, like two swords and some other weapons. So therefore, I'm going to hang it in the back. So in the back, there will be two swords, like in Witcher. All right. So where do we hang this sword? For that, I'll go to my knight. Skeleton and this is my skeleton and here in the back I'll add a socket to our character like this uh, I need it to be somewhere here actually I'll add it to okay left shoulder add socket I'll name it mm. sword one socket right and I'll mm, place it somewhere here, right? And in here, I'll attach this blade into that socket like this. Select this blade, and instead of directly attaching this blade to that socket, I will add some scene component like this because I need this blade to be able to attach and run and take into hand and again then again attach into that place so therefore I'll add a scene component like this I'll attach that into sword one socket right here okay and then I'll put my blade under that like this okay so this is not the way it should be so I'll pause my animations for a moment so that I can fix the rotation of this blade like no actually I need to keep this as zero 
and I will change the rotation of this one so that I don't have to worry about rotation so anything when I reattach my sword into place actually this sword is pretty big compared to this character well that's the way in the games I don't, don't mind it for now alright I think that's good enough I'll enable animations again okay now let's see how does it look okay for now there are no no strap or anything for the sword and the character legs are going through that as well so I think let's make it a little smaller at point seven. Okay. Let's see. Right, that seems reasonable. Alright, so how to equip that sword into hand? So, first I need to define another socket for that as well. So, I'll define that socket here in the right hand. Oh. Not here, not here, not here. Okay. I'll put the socket here. No, on the hand, right here. And add socket. I'll name this one. Sword in hand socket. Right. So me save it. Okay. Now I'll add another I'll call this one mm, what should I call it sword sword strap okay and I'll add I'll duplicate this one and I'll attach this to sword in hand socket I'll call this one hand socket right now I want to see how would it look when this blade is in the hand of this character so I'll put the sword there and make it make everything Right. No, that's right. I'll drag and drop my sword there. First, I'll make this zero, 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 and make everything if this sword as well zero, zero, zero. So this is how it looks for now and I think I should fix this rotation of the hand socket so but I'll again pause animations and rotate this hand socket
Why nothing is changing? Okay, for some reason I have to disable this. Then it works like this. So let's rotate it like this and place it I'll do it off screen and so this is how does this uh, character looks when the sword is in hand alright so the next step is you download in an animation to equip this sword so I'm gonna use this one and I have already downloaded it and imported under the sword animations and unarmed equipped over shoulder and uh, I have created a animation montage like this here so this is the animation montage so I'm going to use this animation montage and when this montage is playing I'm going to equip this sword from back to the hand right so first I need some uh, some input to toggle sword so I'll def I have defined this toggle sword input action in the project settings and as the key I have selected keyboard one right so now here in our I'll create a new event graph called weapons because I'm gonna put weapons not weapons I'll put, name it fight so I'm gonna put everything related to fighting in here so here I'll toggle sword okay and here first I'll define a variable sort equipped like this so that we know the status of the sword so initially it should be false and I'm gonna put not of this in here so that uh, whatever the current status of the sword will be reversed when I press toggle sword button again this and I'll put uh, this one here now actually I can do this part before this section right mm, and do it like this okay so then I'll play an montage and select that uh, unarmed equipped over shoulder montage and I'm gonna use the same one for unequipped in the sword as well and here with a slight delay like let's say 0.4 seconds I'm going to change I'm going to attach this hand this sword into hand like this attach to component 
and for the parent I will give this hand socket and first I will set this to snap to target everything and scale keep word and similarly I will do the same thing when unequ for unequipping the show sword as well and here for the parent I will use this one <coughs> okay so there's, there is one thing that we have to fix in our blueprint animation so in this anim graph so I have already put this default slot node here if this one is not there please do that otherwise uh, these montages will not be applied to the animations so yeah I think now we can test this functionality let's see okay it seems our montage is not playing let me check yeah the problem is I freezed the animations for to test this uh, set this location of this word so and also I have to make initial location of this sword should be attached to this sword strap right right okay right time to check right press one okay okay so timing is a little off Okay, let's fix timing now. So here, all right. So the problem is I haven't inserted a delay here. I'll put the same delay as well. Now let me check uh, when should the changing happen. It should happen somewhere here. That means point one point six no point seven seconds right so therefore I give point seven delay here and let's see press one okay press one again right so but as you can see the location of the sword is quickly changing so that doesn't look good so let's fix that as well like this so instead of snapping to target I'll keep the word location and rotation in both cases and then I'll do this one move component to and keep set the relative location to and rotation to 0 over time point 2 and the same thing here and here right now let's see okay so that's better yeah I see the character this sword is going through the character and but still better than before all right so that's the first step of our melee combat system 
equipping and unequipping the sword and in the next uh, video let's work more on attacking and other stuff of melee combat see you in the next video goodbye